I'll assume you have uh, read the passage already. Which of the following would be most suitably named Ganymede? So we have all these characteristics that we know about Ganymede. Which one would be the most appropriate? A Greek-style tea house. Well, we do have the notion of um, Ganymede being a cupbearer, so this is possible. Um, an upscale line of women's clothing. Well, Ganymede's a guy, so I don't know that that necessarily matches. A unisex beauty salon. Well, so there is this notion of being androgynous uh, because a female character takes that as um, uh, a male name. So, um, and then we also find out that there is this uh, countless paintings and sculptures throughout antiquity that depict a beautiful androgynous youth. So the, a unisex beauty salon, one that caters to both men and women, is the most fitting name here because it relates to being either sex. Um, an upscale line of women's clothing, that's just women. A mountaineering equipment company, that's, well, I mean, I guess he was taken from a mountain, but that's a pretty obscure reference. And in quarterly poetry review, we don't have any connections between Ganymede and poetry, so that's less good. The beauty salon, with the androgyny actually mentioned in the passage, is the best answer.